I want to show you what someone gave me years ago on a trip that they made in Central America. They were going through the area and they ran into a, a vendor along the road who did carvings. And they purchased this, and if you look at it closely, I don't know whether you can see it all, but it is a solid piece of wood, and here's the bark of a tree, and here you've got the head of Christ, the suffering Christ, with the crown of thorns, even drops of blood falling down, closed eyes, all of it's right there, the suffering Christ. And they asked the man who was vending these along the road, the carver, how did you do that? And he said, well, I took a block of wood and I cut away everything that was not Jesus. I thought that was kind of neat. Cut away everything that was not Jesus. You know, that's quite a lesson that we really need to learn in our own spiritual life as well. Because we have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of bark, dare I say, that's constantly blocking Jesus from dominating our life and, and controlling our life. We have a lot of stuff that gets in the way, the clutter. And yet, whenever we talk in terms of cutting away everything that is not Jesus in our life, how do we do that? We do it by confessing our sins and hearing again God's words of forgiveness to us. Whenever we talk in terms of Jesus being in us, and he is, because he has claimed us to be his own, and he desires to dwell within us. You know, we are told in Ephesians chapter 2 that it is by grace you have been saved through faith, you know, and yet not by works, lest anyone should boast. It is the gift of God. And then it goes on. And you are God's workmanship, God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do the works that God has prepared in advance for you to do. His grace has cut away everything in your life that is not Jesus. And he desires as he keeps going on, Paul writes there in Ephesians, getting into that later on in that chapter about being alive in Christ, living in Christ, letting Christ shine through your life and be dominant through your life that everybody can see and see Jesus when they see you. My friends, I pray that you will let the Holy Spirit, through the gracious action of Jesus, cut away everything in your life that is not Christ so that the world may see Christ in you and through you. God's peace be with you.